2007 was a, a life or death situation. It was, uh, I was in the hospital for about 30 days. I had lost half my blood and I lost about 30 pounds. I was first diagnosed in 2007. I got my first major surgery, which was a colon removal at uh, October of 2007. I was just gone. I was so far gone that it was, field hockey wasn't a priority anymore. And then I went for a good four year hiatus and I didn't expect to be playing for the national team ever. I didn't think I was gonna get one cap rather than now I'm sitting here almost getting my 50th. So this is Humera. Uh, I take this once a week, 40 milligrams. It's a syringe, so I have to inject myself. Uh, they basically use it for inflammation for uh, Crohn's patients and arthritis. Crohn's is not a uh, flattering disease, so the biggest thing is that I have to go to the washroom more than everyone else. And then on top of that, sometimes I'll get like cramping, uh, like lower abdominal cramping or uh, nausea is a big one if I'm having a flare-up. Some, sometimes I'm feeling super and just nothing's worrying and I, 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 I feel like everyone else. And then there's other days that I'm just down in the dumps and I feel just always tired and, and that's mostly whenever I take my medication. That tends to be a side effect. Uh, this is the injection that I take once a week. I do it in the stomach, which is not pleasant. It usually hurts a lot. This, this is the one that's uh, it's not so pleasant. This is the uh, inflammation. It's made out of an animal byproduct that helps me digest certain proteins. So once a week, I, if I have something and I take the medication, you know, Wednesday night, I know that Thursday morning is gonna be a struggle. The biggest thing that I've seen with myself as a, an athlete is uh, I get dehydrated a lot easier than other people, so I have to continuously hydrate and, and electrolytes and hydrolytes and Gatorade and Powerade, whatever I need to do, I need to get it into my body so at least it stays longer. This is basically my toiletry bag that I've made into a, a medication bag. This I take once a night, depending on a flare up. I either go for five milligrams or 10 milligrams. This is prednisone, it's a steroid. I've had to get a TUE for this. It's not a pleasant medication. TUE is a therapeutic exemption form uh, that FIH requires. This is a uh, medication for nausea. So if I'm uncontrollably vomiting, this is a big thing. The problem with that is I'm not allowed to take it with Cipro. It could cause a very deadly heart failure. I've been super blessed to have a team of doctors that are just on board with playing for the national team and, and that's how they, they see that and that's how they kind of assess, okay, we're going to go with this medication and then potentially after you play, we're going to get you off of that. Um, my GI has been really good at, you know, always trying to get me to that next level. So now it's 50 caps and, you know, eventually I want to make that World Cup team and an Olympic team. and. You know, after that, it's probably going to be pushing even more, so he's not going to be too happy about that. Uh, resilience is the key. You know, I've gone through one thing in my life where it was life-changing, and, and now I'm just blessed to be out there playing with all my friends and my, my family, and you know, which, what I like to call my brothers out there. And I get to do something that I love you know, every day. And uh, if I don't make a tour, it's not the end of the world. I know I still have, you know, things in my life that, that will go on and, and I think a big thing of that was going through such a hard time with Crohn's and everything so.